oh and i forgot one more point if you have a german passport you can work any you can work and study any any type of course or any type of job because uh you have an advantage you know so usually you can work as a civil servant in their offices you know because you have the german pass so you get more advantages when it comes to work and your salary is also always higher than the uh, people that uh, the expatriates that are coming in so yeah i remembered hello guys so welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here my name is miss adino if you're a returning subscriber welcome back so guys uh, a quick update you all remember that I have all these rashes that have been appearing on my face for some time now. I think it's close to two months. I was using this Neutrogena pickle, anti-pickle, yeah. And apparently, uh, sorry, when I was using this, when I was first using this, I didn't have any reaction on my face until I introduced this glow toner from Douglas. So I am not sure if um, what they use to make this and this do not mix or what. But let me tell you, I had extreme, extreme rashes for, I think from February, like February, the last two weeks of February, that is when the rashes started. And when I went to the pharmacy, I explained to them and I showed them this product. They said this alone will not bring the rashes probably i mixed uh, the 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 things that i used to make this i don't know how they are called uh is it even written here the ingredients used to make this and this probably do not mix i still don't know because when i stopped using both they kind of reduced but the marks were still left and then i traveled to berlin last weekend and i started using this again and the rashes appeared so I had to go back to the doctor and get a different cream because the first cream that I was given, I used it, but it wasn't really working. So they gave me this, I'm on medication, Doxidam, that I'm supposed to be using for 50 days. Can you imagine 50 days swallow, swallowing pills? It's not easy. And then a cream that I have to apply two times in a day, morning and evening. But for the tablets, I'm supposed to be taking um one tablet one tablet per day and i'm not supposed to be taking it with water cola it should only be water i'm not supposed to be taking it with milk sorry milk or cola i'm supposed to any soft drinks or juice or anything i'm supposed to be drinking it with purely water and not drink milk so see speaking of that i forgot today i drank milk i took milk today i just remembered but anyway, um, tomorrow I won't do that. Hopefully I remember because I have a lot of milk and I forgot. I love milk so much and my son also loves milk. And so usually it's really hard to avoid milk because we have it pretty much almost like every day, morning and evening. So anyway, let's move to the main point. So today we're going to be talking about the advantages of having a German passport. Advantage number one is the right to vote. If you get a German passport, you're usually allowed. Allowed? Hey, am I like you right now? You're usu usually allowed to vote. You can vote in your city, in your province, or the whole of Germany. Federal uh, voting, so you're usually allowed to. And I think like that is really nice because you get to exercise your democracy or you being democratic. And so it's a really a good thing because you have a voice you know and then point number two is that you can travel to so many countries in the world without uh, uh, without looking for a visa uh, because uh, germany passport is ranked number three after japan south korea and singapore it comes number three so it's the third most powerful passport in the world another advantage of having a german passport is that you can settle anywhere in the European Union. You can study, you can work or live in any other European Union country as long as it's, it's within the Schengen visa area, uh, Schengen area. And then point number four is that when you have a German passport, you can also 
travel around Europe countries without any frustrations of wandering like it's easy to cross the border you always don't have to go through passport control or something so you just wake up and decide oh today i want to go here in probably switzerland you go you want to go to netherlands you just go nobody cares uh, to really check even at the airport usually if you have a Euro european union um permanent residence card or you have the passport then you are also not being checked only for those coming from different countries are usually going through the inspection or something i don't know how you call it but they check in with you if everything is okay and if you are allowed how long is your visa what are you coming to do if you have a german passport you don't really have to go through all that and then when you have a german passport when you give birth to children your children will automatically become german because you have the german passport so being a foreigner these are the advantages of having a german pass so if you're working towards it i will tell you proceed because it has so many advantages so we've come to the end of the video i hope you did understand what i said if you have any queries or anything you can always go on google and search more because i am not really um i am not really well informed as such but the little knowledge that i have I'll bring on board with you guys. So, bye.